Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Robbie. We, we are, are scientists. scientists. Today, we are going to tell you the story of how we discovered a treasure map. Our story starts with Dana. Dana is a 75 years old grandma, and the thing she loves most is playing with her grandson Billy. Dana cannot see Billy's face very clearly. It's been getting slowly worse for a long time. Part of his face just seems to disappear from sight. Mark, Dana's son and Billy's dad, is only 45 years old, but he's having problems with his vision too. Things just don't look like they used to. When he reads books to Billy at night, some of the letters look wavy or they disappear. It's getting hard to read. Dana and Mark have a rare inheritable eye disease called MACTEL. It affects the retina, which is the light sensing tissue in the back of the eye. People who are affected usually start to notice the symptoms when they are around Billy's dad's age. Unfortunately, MACTEL has no cure yet and no one has found its cause. This is where our journey began. Around three years ago, we started our search for the cause of MACTEL. We jumped on board of a ship led by first mate Tom and directed by our captain Melanie. We joined a group of scientists that worked together to find the cause and a cure for this disease. Although our safe haven is in San Diego, our discoveries come from the combined effort of groups from all over the world. We have scientists working on the cure in few places in California. We also have scientists in Utah, Michigan, New York, Massachusetts, London, and here in Australia. Our group is in Melbourne at the Walter and Eliza Holy Institute when we are looking for clues across the complexity of the human genome. Our group of scientists and doctors started this project by collecting blood from almost 500 unrelated MACTEL patients. From the blood, we got their DNA and we compared it to the DNA from more than 1,700 people who don't have MACTEL. We used cool technologies to read the DNA. A lot of what makes us unique is caused by differences in our genetic code. For each person, we read more than 6 million of these differences, called SNPs. With this information, we could test if certain SNPs are found more often in MACTEL patients than in the healthy group. If so, it might be a clue. And here the magic happened. All the hard work paid off. We found many SNPs that were associated with MACTEL. However, only five of them really caught our attention. Four of them were all pointing at the same clue. Glycine and serine, which are small molecules known as metabolites. These are part of chemical reaction that keep our body going. The fifth SNP was telling us a different story, connected with the size of blood vessels in the eyes. And this, by the way, was a already known symptom in MACTEL. Finally, we were really thrilled when we saw our five loci validated in a separate independent study. This, however, is not the end of the story. Another incredible surprise was about to arrive from London. A group of scientists found that people with MACTEL had less glycine and serine in their blood. These metabolites were the same ones emerging from our study. At opposite poles of the world, we were finding the same clues. This was the story of how we found the MACTEL treasure map. These five regional DNAs are clues, driving our attention and curiosity towards what before was unknown. However, as in any other treasure map, its clues need to be decrypted, and to do that, their role needs to be fully understood. Our next move will be to identify if the clues we found can be used to treat the symptoms of MACTEL or improve the vision of MACTEL patients. With hard work and some luck, we will hopefully give Dana and Mark the chance to play again with Billy and to him the certainty of a clearer and brighter future. The road ahead is long and full of mysteries, but we won't abandon this adventure.